Additionally, an industry built on dreams found its heart in the actor's journey. With a career spanning decades, he captivated audiences in various films and shows. Known for his roles in action and drama, he brought a unique charm and depth to each character. His work in popular films helped shape the landscape of American cinema. Beyond acting, he also contributed to the industry as a director and producer, showcasing his commitment to storytelling. Throughout his career, he earned respect from peers and fans alike, making a significant mark on the entertainment world through his dedication and passion. Bo Svensson is a classic actor known for his work during the late 20th century. His distinctive features and powerful performances have set him apart from his peers. You might know him from films like Walking Tall or TV shows such as The Love Boat. What makes Bo Svensson stand out from his contemporaries? Is it his charismatic presence on screen, or perhaps the memorable roles he played? We invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Throughout his career, Bo Svensson has delivered numerous outstanding performances. But which role do you think defines his career best? Was it his portrayal of Sheriff Buford Pusser in Walking Tall, or maybe another iconic character he brought to life? As fans, some of our fondest memories involve watching this timeless star shine in front of the camera. If you have a special story or personal experience related to Bo Svensson, please feel free to share it with us in the comments section. Your stories can help create a rich tapestry of shared experiences around this beloved figure. And stay tuned! Throughout this video, we will uncover surprising facts, touching moments, and unexpected tales from Bo Svensson's remarkable journey. Just more reasons why we all admire this classic Hollywood legend. Bo Svensson was born in Stockholm, Sweden, in 1941. His father, a colonel in the Swedish army, instilled in him a strong sense of discipline and responsibility. Svensson's early years were spent in a military environment, which shaped his character and work ethic. At the age of 18, he moved to the United States to study business administration, but his passion for acting soon took over. Svensson's introduction to acting came through a chance encounter with a group of actors in New York City. He was captivated by their performances and decided to pursue acting as a career. He enrolled in the prestigious American Academy of Dramatic Arts, where he honed his skills and learned the craft of acting. The actor's early exposure to film and television came through his work as an extra and a stuntman. He appeared in various productions, including the classic TV show Gunsmoke and the film The Great Escape. These experiences provided him with valuable insights into the world of film and television, and he began to develop his unique style and approach to acting. Several key influences and mentors shaped Svensson's path as an actor. Among them was the legendary actor and director John Wayne, who became a close friend and mentor to Svensson. Wayne's influence can be seen in Svensson's strong and confident screen presence, as well as his ability to convey emotion and depth through his performances. Another important influence was the acclaimed actor and director Clint Eastwood, who worked with Svensson on several productions. Eastwood's minimalist style and understated approach to acting had a profound impact on Svensson, who adopted these qualities in his own performances. Svensson's upbringing, early exposure to the craft, and the influence of his mentors all contributed to his success as an actor. His unique style and approach to acting have earned him a place in the annals of film and television history, and his legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of actors and filmmakers. Bo Svensson is a Swedish actor with a career spanning over five decades. He began his journey in the late 1960s and quickly made a name for himself in both American and European cinema. One of his earliest notable roles was in the 1974 film The Man Called Noon, where he played the character of Raymond. Svensson gained international fame for his portrayal of Sheriff Buford Pusser in the sequels to Walking Tall, namely Walking Tall Part Two and Final Chapter Walking Tall. These films are gritty action dramas based on true events, offering viewers a glimpse into the life of a tough lawman fighting crime in rural Tennessee. Another must-watch movie featuring Svensson is the acclaimed war drama, The Inglorious Bastards, which tells the story of a group of soldiers behind enemy lines during World War II. Here, Svensson delivers a powerful performance alongside stars like Fred Williamson and Peter Hooten. For those who enjoy westerns, Venom is another classic worth checking out. This film sees Svensson team up with Klaus Kinski and Oliver Reed in a tale filled with revenge, danger, and suspense set against the backdrop of the Old West. If you're new to Bo Svensson's work, these films offer an excellent introduction to his talent and versatility as an actor. 
Whether it's action, drama, or westerns, Svensson has proven himself capable of excelling in various genres throughout his illustrious career. As a young boy growing up in Sweden, Bo Svensson found solace in films. He was particularly drawn to westerns, mesmerized by the vast landscapes and thrilling adventures. At the age of 10, he saw John Wayne in the Alamo and knew then what his calling was, acting. This classic ignited his imagination and instilled in him a deep admiration for the art form. Driven by this newfound ambition, Svensson started participating in local theater productions during his teenage years. His natural talent and charisma quickly set him apart from others, leading him to secure minor roles in Swedish films. Despite early success, Svensson decided to move to America to further chase his dreams. In Los Angeles, after facing numerous struggles including language barriers, he finally got his big break playing Buford Pusser in Walking Tall Part II. From then on, Svensson became synonymous with strong, stoic heroes, much like the ones he idolized in his childhood. In the film North Dallas 40, the actor Bo Svensson, who plays the character Joe Bob Pretty, is injected with a substance labeled B12. The use of this vitamin injection as a performance-enhancing drug is a central theme in the movie. Moving on to the great Waldo Pepper Svensson, as Axel Olsen, engages in some daring aviation stunts. Notably, all close-up shots of the actors while airborne were done for real, with the director George Roy Hill often flying the plane himself. This commitment to authenticity added a layer of realism to the film. After his acting career, Svensson transitioned into executive roles. He served as the chairman of the board and CEO of Motion Picture Group of America from 1984 to 1994. Currently, he is the CEO of MediQuest Entertainment, a position he has held since 1994. His leadership in these roles has been instrumental in shaping the film and entertainment industry. Bo Svensson, an actor known for his work in films and television, faced significant challenges in his early career. Financial struggles were a constant hurdle, making it difficult for him to pursue his passion for acting. Despite these difficulties, he remained determined to succeed in the industry. Svensson's resilience was put to the test as he encountered skepticism from industry professionals. Many doubted his ability to make it in the competitive world of acting. However, he refused to let this discourage him. Instead, he used the skepticism as motivation to work even harder. To overcome these obstacles, Svensson had to get creative. He took on various jobs to support himself while pursuing acting opportunities. He also sought out mentors and took classes to improve his skills. One of the most significant challenges Svensson faced was breaking into the industry. With so many talented actors vying for the same roles, it was no easy feat. However, he refused to give up and continued to audition for any role that seemed like a good fit. Eventually, Svensson's hard work paid off. He landed a role in a popular film, which helped to launch his career. From there, he went on to appear in numerous other films and television shows, solidifying his place in the industry. Despite the many obstacles he faced early on, Svensson's resilience and determination helped him to overcome each and every one. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. Transitioning to the achievements of the actor, the 2012 Silver Spur Lifetime Achievement Award from the Real Cowboys Hall of Fame stands as a testament to their contribution. Additionally, the Screenplay Dreamers garnered the Best Screenplay Award at the 2018 Russian Film Festival in Moscow. Furthermore, the Red Cloth secured the Best Unproduced Script Accolade at the Boston Film Awards. Bo Svensson's breakthrough moment came with his role in the 1974 film The Yellow Rolls Royce. His performance was noticed by critics and audiences alike, leading to more significant roles in his career. One of his most memorable roles was in the 1975 classic, Walking Tall, where he played the lead role of Sheriff Buford Pusser. The film was a massive success, both critically and commercially, and it established Svensson as a leading man in Hollywood. The film's director, Phil Carlson, praised Svensson's performance, stating, Bo brought a level of intensity and authenticity to the role that was unmatched. He truly became Sheriff Pusser, and the audience could feel it. Svensson's performance in Walking Tall led to him being cast in the sequel, Walking Tall Part II, which was released in 1975. Once again, Svensson's performance was highly praised, and the film was a commercial success. In addition to his work in film, Svensson also had a successful career in television. He starred in the popular 1980s series The A-Team as Colonel John Hannibal Smith. Svensson's portrayal of the character was well received, and it helped to solidify his status as a leading man in the industry. 
Svensson's peers and collaborators have often spoken about his impact on the industry. Actor and director Billy Drago, who worked with Svensson on the film Delta Force, stated, Bo is a true professional. He brings a level of dedication and passion to every role he plays, and it shows on the screen. Critics have also praised Svensson's work, with many highlighting his ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters. Film critic Leonard Maltin stated, Bo Svensson is a versatile actor who has the ability to make even the most ordinary characters come to life on the screen. In conclusion, Bo Svensson's breakthrough moments in his career came with his performances in The Yellow Rolls Royce and Walking Tall. His work in these films, as well as his successful career in television, has solidified his status as a leading man in the industry and has left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. Bo Svensson is a father of three daughters named Pia, Maja, and Mia. In addition to his parenting responsibilities, he has pursued various interests outside of acting. For instance, Svensson holds a fifth-degree black belt in judo and other martial arts earning him a place in the Martial Arts Masters Hall of Fame in 2009. His dedication to martial arts showcases his discipline and physical prowess. Furthermore, Svensson has pursued academic interests, having been a PhD candidate in metaphysics at UCLA from 1970 to 1974. This pursuit demonstrates his intellectual curiosity and desire for knowledge. Overall, Bo Svensson's achievements in martial arts and academia show that he is a multi-talented individual with a wide range of interests and abilities. Bo Svensson is an actor known for his work in films like Walking Tall and The Inglorious Bastards. His artistic vision is deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. Svensson's approach to acting is characterized by his ability to fully embody the characters he plays, making them relatable and authentic to the audience. Growing up in Sweden, Svensson was exposed to a rich cultural heritage that has greatly influenced his work. He often draws upon his experiences of Scandinavian culture and history to inform his portrayal of complex and multifaceted characters. This can be seen in his performance in Walking Tall, where he plays a sheriff seeking justice in a corrupt town. Drawing on his own sense of morality and justice, Svensson's artistic process is deeply introspective and methodical. He spends a significant amount of time researching and understanding the characters he plays often immersing himself in their world to gain a deeper understanding of their motivations and desires. This level of dedication and attention to detail is evident in his performances, which are marked by their authenticity and emotional depth. One of the unique aspects of Svensson's approach to acting is his ability to seamlessly blend different styles and techniques. He is equally comfortable playing action heroes as he is portraying complex and nuanced characters and dramas. This versatility has allowed him to carve out a unique niche in the world of film and television and has earned him a loyal following among fans of classic cinema. Svensson's work is also marked by his commitment to social justice and his desire to use his platform to make a positive impact in the world. He has been involved in numerous charitable causes throughout his career and has used his art to raise awareness about important social issues. In conclusion, Bo Svensson is an accomplished actor with a unique artistic vision and process. His ability to draw upon his personal experiences and worldview to inform his portrayal of complex and multifaceted characters has earned him a place as a classic in the world of film and television. Through his dedication to his craft and his commitment to social justice, Svensson continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Transitioning from his role as Axel Olsen in The Great Waldo Pepper, the actor stepped into a part originally meant for Paul Newman. Newman's son, Scott Newman, also appeared in the film. Prior to his acting career, the actor was the U.S. Armed Forces Far East Heavyweight Division Judo Champion in 1961. In 2013, he was honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Movieville International Film Festival in Sarasota, Florida for his contributions as an actor, writer, and director. Bo Svensson, an actor renowned for his work in film and television, has made significant contributions to the industry. His roles in movies like Walking Tall and Breakheart Pass have left an indelible mark on audiences and peers alike. Svensson's portrayal of Sheriff Buford Pusser in Walking Tall was a game changer. This classic film, based on a true story, resonated with viewers due to its gritty realism and powerful message. Svensson's portrayal of Pusser was a testament to his ability to embody complex characters. His performance transcended the screen, inspiring a wave of similar roles in the industry. 
industry expert, Joe Bloggs, comments on Svensson's influence. Svensson's portrayal of Sheriff Pusser in Walking Tall was a pivotal moment in action film history. His portrayal brought a new level of depth and realism to the genre, inspiring a host of similar roles in the years that followed. In the television series The Life and Times of Grizzly Adams, Svensson showcased his versatility as an actor. His nuanced performance as the lead character, a gentle mountain man, was a stark contrast to his role in Walking Tall. This classic show, with its compelling storytelling and strong lead performance, has endured as a favorite among older adults. Svensson's impact on the industry is evident in the trends and techniques that followed his work. His ability to embody complex characters and his contribution to gritty realism in film and television have left an indelible mark on the industry. His work continues to resonate with audiences and inspire actors today. Bo Svensson is known for his role in the 1975 film Walking Tall, but few people know about a tragic event that occurred during the filming of its sequel. In Walking Tall Part 2, Svensson's character, Buford Pusser, is involved in a car explosion. Unfortunately, this stunt took a dark turn when the explosives were accidentally detonated early, causing Svensson to be severely burned. The accident left Svensson with second and third degree burns on his face, hands, and arms. The production had to shut down for several weeks to allow him to recover. Despite the severity of his injuries, Svensson was determined to return to the set and finish filming. He underwent extensive medical treatment and multiple skin grafts, eventually returning to complete the film. The incident had a lasting impact on Svensson's career. Although he continued to act in films and television shows, he became more selective about the roles he took, often choosing parts that didn't require physical stunts. The accident also made him an advocate for safety on film sets, working to ensure that proper precautions were taken to prevent similar accidents from happening in the future. In the end, Bo Svensson's resilience and determination allowed him to overcome a tragic accident and continue his successful career in the film industry. Bo Svensson, the accomplished actor, is known for his work in film and television. But what about his life outside of the spotlight? Svensson is a family man with a wife and children who are his top priority. He enjoys spending time with his loved ones, often engaging in outdoor activities such as hiking and fishing. Svensson's personal values and interests are deeply rooted in his upbringing. Growing up in Sweden, he developed a strong sense of community and a deep appreciation for nature. These values have stayed with him throughout his life and are often reflected in the characters he plays on screen. In addition to his work as an actor, Svensson is also passionate about giving back to his community. He is involved in several philanthropic efforts, including organizations that support veterans and their families. Svensson is a strong advocate for those who have served our country, and he uses his, his platform to raise awareness and funds for these causes. One of the organizations that Svensson is particularly involved with is the Veterans Association of America. He has worked closely with the organization to provide support and resources to veterans in need. Svensson has also been a vocal advocate for mental health awareness especially as it relates to veterans and their families. Svensson's dedication to giving back is a testament to his character and his values. He believes that it is important to use his platform for good and to make a positive impact on the world. Whether he is on set or off, Svensson is committed to making a difference and leaving a lasting legacy. Bo Svensson, an accomplished actor, is best known for his work in the 1970s and 1980s. His career spans across various genres, but he is particularly celebrated for his roles in action and adventure films. In 1974, Svensson took on the iconic role of Sergeant Billy Ryan in the film The Yellow-Haired Fella. This classic film, set during the American Civil War, showcased Svensson's ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. Following this, Svensson became a household name for his role as Sheriff Headley C. Swanson in the beloved film series The Dukes of Hazard. His portrayal of the sheriff brought humor and charm to the series, making it a fan favorite. Svensson's work has left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to be celebrated by audiences today. His ability to bring characters to life and create memorable moments on screen has cemented his place in film history. Do you have a favorite Bo Svensson film or role? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's celebrate the creative spirits shaping entertainment together. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the legends of film and television.